Hello and welcome, my name is Lazar and today we are trying out Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Seas. Now Oceanhorn is an action adventure RPG, right? comes from the developer with the name of Comfox and Bros. I'm gonna go into the technical side of things because this is an uh, iOS port at its base, okay? They, the developer claims it's a huge overhaul but we'll just see about that. Now uh, what you guys should know, this is a pre-release version, okay? So this is not final build material. For those of you who are not interested in the technical sides, side of things, I'm gonna put a skipped uh, gameplay annotation on your screen. So let's go to options. What do you got here? Items and spells. Okay, you acquire these as you play. All right. You don't start off with all of them. You don't start off with the sword, with the shield, with the bombs, with anything. Neither, uh, none of these. All right. You can see the cinematics over here. All right. You can uh, scroll through them. Let's uh, jump into the graphic settings. What do we got here? We got some preset: low, medium, high, ultra. Uh, now again, for this pre-release version, I for FPS I can do this. This is kind of pointless. Uh, if I go to 60 non-locked, it still stays at 60. Um, and if you turn off V-Sync, okay, which I tried, I tried this logical thing to do, to go with 60 and the V-Sync off, it doesn't go beyond 60. And uh, unfortunately, if you turn V-Sync off, horrible, horrible screen tearing happens, okay? But a decent amount of options, and I'm hoping the uh, frame rate will not be locked uh, for the final version. Alright. Uh, so these are the graphical settings. Let's see what else. This is for the audio. Okay, you get what this is. And alright, that's about it. You also got this fish log, actually. Uh, I haven't caught any fish because I haven't unlocked the fishing uh, roll, fishing thing, fishing rod thing, alright? So here you have your fishies and all that good stuff. Alright, let's try to get something done here. Alright, you, you can see you have all these little towns. Okay, right now I'm in Tikariel or I don't know how do you pronounce this. You can talk to all sorts of folks, all right? Yeah, these guys have shops, some of them, all right? Uh, it is worthwhile to talk to them because uh, you will unlock other uh, islands. Okay, right now I'm on an island, as you can see. Okay, you will unlock other islands only if you talk to these people, okay? You, uh, you gotta hear somebody say, hey, I heard that uh, that artifact is on X island, okay? If you don't do that, it won't unlock for you. You can pick up some objects, smash them, okay, you can interact, this is your sword and shield, this is what I got, you can block with your shift, okay, obviously you move with WSD and I tried it with controller, it works fine, and dandy. Right, like for example here, danger, this abandoned house may, may what, and here you see everything, it may collapse at any time, don't go near it. Now, what I'm wondering is if I throw a bomb right now at it, what will happen? Here, have another bomb, two bombs. Oh. Uh. Wasn't it supposed to collapse? Oh well, it didn't collapse. Alright, so you got a dash, which is space. Right, see, like that's... Let me see if I can find any enemies to kill. Alright, here's an enemy. Hi! Nah, nah, nah! Yay, you're dead! Alright, so you can see uh, the actual combat in Oceanhorn. It's not very satisfying for a uh, action RPG, a PC action RPG. Alright? Unfortunately, we're used to much more responsive controls while you attack like for example right now you're more or less rooted in place Right see this is all you do you can you also can keep your right button right uh, mouse button pressed and it does this Right all the vegetation can hide coins and a uh, little extra lives for you right you see on your upper left corner you see the HP you got left some monster attacks take a whole life or two lives uh, other take half and so on and so forth right uh, so the story behind this is that your father or your family is cursed by this monster that keeps hunting you down and so on and so forth, right? So what you gotta do is uh, defeat this monster because your dad abandoned you to go fight the monster. Or something like that, right? and your mom died, and yeah, and your mom died and uh, also killed by that monster. What I'm doing now is trying to find... Where the hell was it? There was a... There was a cave in here, alright? Which I could enter because I got bombs. Initially, I was sent by this old hermit on this island uh, to try to recover something, an emblem of sorts, I believe. But I couldn't get into a specific cave because I didn't have bombs. But now I do have bombs because I was sent to Bomb Island by one of these here pedestrians. All right, so I'm here. You can see here if you read here. Uh, again, blocked by an earthquake. Guess what? I'm guessing a bomb will fix that, won't it? Okay, let's throw the bomb. Come on. 
Boom! Alright, so now I can enter. Alright, so there I go in the cave. Uh, these are blood shards. I don't know what these are for. You gotta attack them till your finger bleeds on the mouse, alright? And after your finger, finger bleeds nice, uh, nicely, you get it for yourself. I, I really don't know what's that for yet. But again, I haven't played a lot. And as I said, as you play, you unlock... Ooh, look, there's a chest in there. There's a treasure. But if I go there, well, I'll be able to get back here. You have no jump right now, okay? You have no default jump, alright? Uh, from what I saw on the trailers and so on... Oh, look, I found a bomb. Uh, from what I saw from the trailers and so on and so forth, you will get an item that will allow you to jump at some point, and I can't go down there right now. Right, so you gotta, you gotta figure out the mazes, right? As you can see, you gotta figure out the mazes, where I can go, where I cannot go without your jump. Let's get in here. Alrighty, uh, monsters. Uh, okay, shift to, ah, he attacked me from behind. Let me try to do my whirlwind attack. Boom, boom, yay. I'm destroying the vegetation because you could fight stuff in it. Okay, look, a switch. What happens if I stand? Aha! Uh -huh, you see? If I stay on the switch, that thing opens. Alright, let me go there. Aha! Uh -huh, it's back up. Okay, I get it. I get it. Usually you need to do something like, okay, you see, I got this. Uh, I can, I'm gonna pick up this here rock. I'm gonna throw it there. I'm gonna put it onto it. Come on. There we go. Now that thing will stay down. Alright, basic puzzles. Uh, from what I played so far, the puzzles are decent, okay, don't think that every one of them will be this easy, no, there are harder puzzles, and look at here, a harder puzzle. Uh, okay, 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 uh, let's see, what's this telling me, keep out, thanks a lot for the help, alright, so I can go up there, mm -hmm. okay, but first, I wanna get that chest, you guys wanna get that chest with me, let me just get this blood shard, okay, my finger bleeds now, can I have it, okay, good. Alright, uh, so again, for an action RPG, for a PC action RPG, is is the gameplay is a bit stiff, okay, and that's to say uh, very little about it. Hmm. Alright, see these boxes? I can blow up these boxes. Hmm. You see, you can push these, you can't pull them, these, uh, these crates, you can push them, but you can't pull them. Uh oh, I, have, I think I overdid it with that one. Yeah, I could have destroyed one with two with one bomb but I failed so let me try that again uh, drop and run it does damage right so let me try that and drop and run all right so I got rid of the crates there uh, how am I supposed to no I can't push this nor this hmm interesting I can only push this can I push this no okay reset this will reset what but I'm out of bombs no 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 I'm out of bombs. Can't do this to me. Eh, uh, never mind. Let's just keep going. I'm guessing this will bore you guys. What's happening if I go here? Uh, is this the way I came in? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm down there now. I can get this blood shard. Alright, come on. Give me the blood shard. Give me the blood shard. Hey, good. Now I sh Can I go there and get the boxy? I'm guessing I can't. Nope. And I have no jump yet. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, so I'm back in town, apparently, alright, so that's an exit there. Is there something there? Is there something there? Come on, uh-huh, okay, look, there's a bottle with a message over here. What does it say? Hi, this reef is a paradise and it's a small place, sure, yeah, I stand by perfectly, and she means a bit worried, uh, found bombs and arrows from the bushes around Kizroga or something. Okay, you got a new island revealed, you see? Because I, I read that, I got a new island, I can go, and I'll show you guys I can't jump, okay? If I could jump now, if I had the boots to jump, I could traverse this. But I don't have the boots, and I can't jump, or whatever item it is. Oh, a coin. Uh, there are shops when you can use those coins, okay? To buy lives or stuff like that. You guys get it. Alright, let's use that ladder. Let's get up there. So as you can see, the uh, art style, okay, the graphical design, um is cartoony all right uh, oh the house uh, that may appeal to some of you and less to others i find it fine okay i see nothing wrong with it okay so i'm gonna go into this house hopefully it won't collapse on me okay i'm in the house look a skull Ooh, ominous music okay what was this someone has been staying here this bottle smells like oil okay so oil bottle there what about this there were weird parts laying around the ground and a surprising high tech. Okay, interesting. Let me open this up. Hey, treasure for me. Just a bomb, that's it. Disappointing. Disappointing. 
What about this one? And here we got... Oh, what is that? Wow, a golden star. From ancient times. You can have 50 coins for it. Oh, so just 50 coins. Alright, I get it. I get it. You see here, I got a level up system. You see, I'm level 4 pilgrim. Alright, the more stuff I kill and the more stuff I found, my I level up. Uh, you have an adventurer's guild where you can go. There's a house, alright, and they do stuff for you because you got high level. Okay, so I can't figure out... Uh, can I do anything? There were weird parts laying around. Okay, so I'm guessing that's all I can do here. Alright, fine. I thought I was supposed to collapse this house. Obviously, I wasn't. Alright, so I'm done with that. Let's... No! I can't get up there back. See, this is the annoying part. Now, I can't... I can't... I can't go back up there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I want to show you the uh, travel system. Alright, from island to island. Uh, come on, little boy. Mm, Alright, okay. Here's my boat. You gotta go to your boat. Get in your boat. Get in the boat. Alright. I'm in the boat. And these are the islands. Okay, you see this one uh, is what I found out because I looked on that bottle. So you have all these side quests. Alright. Which you can do. Okay, I can go to Bomb Island. I'm worth the Bomb Island to get my bombs. Obviously. See, 89% complete. Uh, I cannot go up here. Not yet at least. Look at this sandbar. I don't remember. This is also some kind of side quest. Okay, so I just double click. Okay, and my boat starts running. You can't skip this, and you can get this BB gum like an hour into the game, okay, where you can shoot stuff along your way. See right there, there's a sea monster. Boom, 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 boom. And I killed it. Yay, me. Right? I personally like the art style, okay? I find it refreshing, okay? There's no blood, no real aggressiveness and stuff like that. Everything is cartoony, cutesy. I, I like it. It's refreshing, for me at least. Can I shoot the pelican? No, 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 I can't shoot the stupid pelican. I don't like pelicans. And we are going to the sandbar. I really don't remember. There, there was a side quest there of sorts. Also, every time you get to a specific new island, your father, through his logbook, which you have, kind of talks to you a little bit and gives you details. Ultim the ultimate objective is to get Ocean Horn, okay? Alright, I'm on the sandbar. What happens here? Okay, I got a bomb. Is this it? Oh, and a bloodstone there. I'm guessing the sandbar will play a bigger role later, but right now it's only these blood shard things. Come on, come on. So there's a lot of backtrack in this game because obviously you won't be able to do everything on a single island until you get all your abilities and such, okay? Like jumping, for example. Come on, give it to me. Come on, come on, come on, give it. Okay, done. Now what am I supposed to do? That's it, and that's the sandbar, apparently. I see nothing else here. Alright, back to the ship. Well, I think you guys pretty much get it, alright. Uh, what do I think of it? Uh, hmm, the Withered Lands, let's go here in the meantime. I don't know what to say about it, okay? It's an iOS port. Is it a good port? It's decent, okay? Uh, right now, the only real gripe I have with it, the controls are fine, okay? The controls are fine, so I, I don't really mind the controls. The actual combat is stiff, and that's just to say the least. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the final version will not have frames locked at 60. It doesn't bother me, okay? And I hope they fix the issue with turning Vsync off, because right now, like I told you, if you turn Vsync off, horrible tearing happens in the game. This comes at 15 bucks, all right? 15 bucks. And apparently, uh, it's very catered towards completionists, okay? You can do, like I told you, a lot of backtracking, okay? You got the new ability now. You got an arrow. Now you can do a specific, uh, a specific challenge, like, for example, these here, all right? So you can go back and forward, back and forward. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely recommend it for anybody looking for a fun little adventure, okay? This is not anything too challenging from what I saw you. I had like an ogre that was harder to kill, and by the way, these are the checkpoints, all right? Uh, but it's a fun little adventure, and for 15 bucks, uh, apparently it has a ton of content, all right? So I would definitely recommend it for fans of the genre, all right? If you can, if, if you're a fan of this uh, particular art style. Uh, if you're the type of person that likes, uh, I don't know, that you think Diablo 3 is like the mecha of action RPGs, then no, you're not gonna like this because it's not that fluid combat, alright? It's not, uh, it's not that rewarding, alright? And for an action RPG, well, the combat is the bread and butter, is it not? Well, that's about it, guys. 
Thank you for watching, my name has been Lazar, please like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content and I will see you again soon.